As long as you have a positive attitude and you work hard at what you want, it'll happen. This is Haley Arantia in Making a Portrait. I had a great childhood. I mean, my parents have always been super supportive of everything I've wanted to do, and they used to always do up their houses in the kids' bedrooms in this epic way. And my mom and dad actually came together and made my bedroom this like New York City Broadway type vibe. So my dad built a stage in my bedroom with like working lights and curtains and I had a karaoke machine. And so that's kind of where my love for music and performing in general really started. You know, it's funny, music was always the first thing. Acting came a little later. So my biggest inspirations as far as music goes, I grew up listening to all kinds of really soulful, big vocalists. Um, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, those were like always on repeat in the car, me and mom. I, I had a lot of great influence from um, my mom and dad and what they listened to. And then funk music, even though that doesn't really make its way into my, my genre necessarily, but I love 70s funk music and anytime that comes on the car with my mom and I, being able to explore within different genres has always inspired me. I've never liked putting myself into a box, even though the industry kind of wants you to choose that. Um, but I loved being able to grow up with all those different kinds of influences. In my elementary school, every morning, they would have everyone gather in the cafeteria before you know the bell rang and it was time to go to your classes. And eventually they put up a microphone so that kids could kind of express themselves however they wanted to. And so you'd have some kids that sang, you'd have some kids that told a joke or whatever. And one day, I don't know what came over me, but I got, over, I got up to the microphone and I sang, um, do you remember JoJo? She had a song called Get Out Leave. That was my thing. And so I loved that album. So I sang that song and I noticed that I got a lot of positive feedback from friends and you know, teachers and stuff. And so that was my first time performing in front of people. And it was nice to be able to have that kind of reaction. And it fueled me wanting to do it more. I dated someone for uh, not that long, but it was a year and a half. We ended up living together at my place in Nashville for the summer because we were doing long distance. And so it was an opportunity for us to be able to spend more time together in person rather than over the phone. And thank God we did because I, I learned a lot about who this person really was and found out, you know, he lied about who he was and, and had a whole secret life I just didn't know about. And it was traumatizing because um, I'm a very open person and I, it, it, was, it was a lot to take in to, to look back and say, God, how did I not know? How did I not see those things? And it wasn't even like I had everyone in my life saying, you know, hey, maybe this person isn't the best. Everyone loved him, thought we were gonna get married. And to have the whole world like flipped on its head in that way, it was a lot to process. And it took me a good year of just like therapy of all kind. And one of those would be music. I didn't have a lot of people that I could relate to. And then coming out to LA and immediately going onto a show, you know, thankfully I have these amazing cast members who some of which are close in age to me and have grown up in this industry so they know what it's like and thank God I have them to learn from because otherwise it's something you just have to figure out on your own and when you don't have other people that are like, hey, do you have this problem? It's like, no, because I don't have an eighth season of a TV show. It's a weird, um, and not to say woe is me, it's a great opportunity, but there's a lot that comes with that life and working in this industry that you just can't be prepared for. And unless you have some somebody who's gone through it before, it's like you're going in the dark. So in a lot of ways, I feel like I've had to figure it out on my own because at some point, the people in your life can offer love, assistance, support, but a lot of it is on you to work through what you have to work through. People tell you like, oh, going to LA and doing the whole entertainment thing, you're gonna meet a ton of people who are gonna wanna like take advantage of you or just be friends with you because of the show you work on. And, and I was always like, I don't know. And then you get out here and you have to have these things, these experiences that really teach you that and teach you to kind of keep people at arm's length and feel out who is trustworthy. And it sucks it, that it, it's just a fact that there are people who will take advantage of other people no matter what you do. You know, as long as they can see an opportunity to gain something, there's gonna be those people. But 
um, doing my best to remain open to the fact that there are good people in the world. Being in a creative rut, it happens, and I'm, I feel like I'm currently in one with music because I normally get to travel to Nashville on my weeks off from filming or the big hiatus in between seasons, but this year being kind of what it is with 2020, I, I didn't get to do that. I'm not being inspired by anything to want to write. Um, that's something I have to get over. And then seeing all of these amazing artists around me that I know and love, and seeing them releasing things and being able to continue to be creative in this time is even more like, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Like, how, you know, like you get it on yourself and, yeah. and it's like I'm not doing enough or like, but it all piles on, but I try to just like take a deep breath and know that like, it's gonna happen when it happens. I, I don't force myself into like, okay, I, I need to be inspired by something, so let's just make to make, which some people just like, creating constantly can create sort of that inspiration for them. Everyone's kind of feeling that right now of just having to wait. Um, so I'm in that position where I can kind of just wait till it hits me, I guess. The whole reason I got into acting was because I met with record labels when I was 15 and they said, um, you know, you're great, you're talented, and we'd love to sign you, but really help us if you had a platform like a television show, because realistically they didn't want to put yeah. the money behind a new artist. And so I work hard at trying to take acting classes and figure it out all for music. And now I end up booking this amazing show. But if I go to any record label, they're like, yeah, but are you really a musician? My career and my life and everything in it has, has drastically like changed and evolved over time. And to be able to have people that are supportive through all of those phases is incredible. Life has so many phases to it and it's not the end. I mean, I can't tell you how many friends I have who, you know, might be in their late 20s, early 30s, work in this industry and they think that like, it's never gonna happen for them. You know, it's just, the way of life, like you stumble upon what you're meant to do. And, you know, while I may think that this genre is mine, or I may think that this show is what's gonna last forever, it's like realistically, life goes through phases. And so just be okay, let it wash over you and know that like more things are to come. You know, as long as you have a positive attitude and you work hard at what you want, um, it'll happen. I'm a big believer in the secret, you know, the power of attraction. <laughs>